Hey love, so welcome back to my channel. I'm going to share what's in this month's boxy charm. I just received it in the mail about a few days ago and I wanted to do a video sharing with you guys what's in this month's box. This month I was actually super excited about it. Like there's there's a few products that are pretty interesting and some that I wanted to try but I didn't get but it's okay. I love the box that I got. I love the items in it. A lot of them are new to me except one which I have tried before which I will mention. But yeah, before we head into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video in the end. And yeah, let's get to it. So in this month's box, I got five products. This is their 2% BHA liquid exfoliant which I have tried in the past and really do like it. So this is a great product. I'm really happy that I got it in this month's box. Also in this month's box, I got the Dose of Color Baked Browns which I have never used any dose of color eyeshadows. This one's the more neutral one. I believe there's a ton that you can get, different variations. I was really excited to try this one. Oh. I did have a hard time blending the darker shades. It's my first time ever using any dose of color eyeshadows. I found that the brown was a little bit patched. It has a lot of kickback and I didn't find that it blended that nicely. So. Also in this month's box, I got this lip liner, which is in red. This is from the brand John to Blue. Um, I mean, it's a really pretty, it's a really pretty bright red lip liner, but again, I got the gloss, so I don't know why um, there was a, lip, a red lip liner in here, but I mean, that's fine. Also in this month's box, I got the Iconic London Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Nearly Nude, and I really do love it. It's really pretty nude gloss. It does have a little bit of a little tingle to it, so if you don't like those kind of glosses, you probably won't like this one. But I don't mind it. I think it's a really pretty shade. And the product that I'm most excited, and I think this was what I liked most about this month's box, is this um, pretty filtered glassy skin balm and this looks so pretty it feels like a cream so when you put it on it feels like you're just putting any moisturizer but it gives your skin a beautiful gloss which you guys can see in my demo I demonstrate all these products and I also created a, this look for you guys it definitely gives your skin that glassy look which is really pretty like once you powder and all that you can't see it as much but there are parts where you can still see that glassy skin I would definitely wear this though with more light makeup maybe just a little bit of concealer and just setting a little bit underneath the eyes so that you can see more of that sheen to the skin so yeah that's all that I got in this month's box um if you guys want to see how I created this look right here just keep watching so I'm gonna go in with the touch in Sol glassy pretty filter which is like a skin balm okay so you're supposed to apply this all over exactly what I'm gonna do and it does make your skin super glossy Ooh, it's pretty yeah you guys can see my skin is like super glossy I love it so I'm gonna put on some foundation to see how this looks um, but I really like it it's like so glassy like <laughs> So we're going to test out to see how the foundation goes over top. So I'm going to use the Shiseido foundation. I'm going to use my beauty blender. I'm going to conceal underneath. The skin actually still looks very dewy and beautiful. I'm going to... I'm going to set it a little bit because I don't want sheen all over. So I'm going to use my It Cosmetics. I'm going to bronze my face a little bit. Um, and then we're going to move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I have the Baked Browns from Dose of Colors. Which are these gorgeous neutrals. I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to add this all over my crease. I'm going to bring it out a little bit. I don't think I own any Dose of Color eyeshadows. This is my first time actually using their shadows. I have tried other products from them, like their highlighter, and I have tried their lip products, but never, never these. Really. With a smaller brush, I'm going to take the darkest shade to add these around my lash line and bring it into the crease. So 
So I'm just building up that brown. I am finding it a little bit hard to blend, like it's a little patchy. Um, so I don't know. I'm taking that light shade because this is very powdery. I'm gonna take that brown underneath. About halfway. Fluffy brush, I'm gonna take that lighter brown shade and just blend out all the edges. I'm gonna take that light shade again, the lightest in the palette, and add it to the very front. Take that pencil brush again and just blend out all the edges. So for this look, I am gonna add some glitter and this one's from Violet Boss. I'm gonna take my glitter glue, glitter primer, sorry, from NYX. A little brush that came in the set. And I'm going to add this right over here. So like right in the front. To add some small little glitters, I'm going to use this Dazzle Shadow Liquid from MAC. And I'm just going to add this right in the front. I'm going over top of the, of the glitter and blending it in. So while my lash glue dries, I use my Fairly Precious Blush from MAC. And then I'm going to use Hollow At Me from Fenty. So I am going to use my very own lip liner because the one I got in the kit is actually red. So I'm going to use my own. I have this iconic London gloss. And then lastly, I'm going to add some freckles. This is from Freck. I'm going to add a few little freckles because, I mean, why not, right? So, you just dot a few and get your finger and just press them in. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next one.